Hello everyone, and Evil Snowman here, bringing you another guide to Dota 2, this time covering Medusa. Medusa's first ability is Split Shot, which when toggled on will cause her to split her shots into 5 arrows. One will hit the primary target, and the other four will hit the closest enemy units to the primary target. These will deal 80% of our normal damage at level 4. The toggle has a 0.1 second transform time. This can be used to dodge stuns. Mystic Snake is a targeted ability that deals 200 damage and steals 50 mana from the target. It can also jump up to 6 new targets. The mana stolen and damage will be increased by 25% after each jump. Mystic Snake costs 170 mana with an 11 second cooldown. Mana Shield is a toggled ability that will create a mana shield around Medusa and absorb 50% of the incoming damage. At level 4, 2.25 damage is absorbed for each point of mana used. Medusa's ultimate is Stone Gaze, which will reduce the attack speed of enemies within our line of sight by 100% and stop their movement for 5 seconds. Over time, the units will slowly start to regain their speed. Stone Gaze costs 0 mana at level 3, with a 60 second cooldown. Starting out, you'll want to take stats right off the bat at level 1, and then again at level 4 but then leave them until levels 18 and onwards before leveling stats further. Mystic Snake is your main farming ability, and since you're going to be farming for most of the game, you should probably get started early. Because of this we max it first, taking it at levels 2, 3, 5 and 7. Mana Shield should be maxed next, taking it at levels 8, 9, 10 and 12. This will help you be a little more tanky and take a little bit more punishment in the mid game, where ganks should be coming your way to stop you from farming. Split Shot is max last, taking it at levels 13, 14, 15 and 17. This is because before you get your items up, the reduced damage means you're not going to be hitting for any sizeable amount. Needless to say, Stone Gaze is leveled whenever it is available, at levels 6, 11 and 16. Starting out you want to take 3 slippers of agility, a healing salve, and an iron branch. Upgrade two of these slippers to a poor man's shield by picking up a stout shield at the side shop, and then get a magic wand. From there get a perseverance, and then grab your power threats. Now you have two options. You can either go towards a link in the sphere, or a manta first. You're going to be picking up both of these, but depending on your situation, you may want to favour a Lincoln's if you think you're going to get ganked, as it adds a little bit more survivability, or a Manta if you're going to be doing some pushing. Either way, if you've got the Lincoln's, pick up your Manta next, and if you've got the Manta, pick up the Lincoln's next. For your last slot, pick up a Butterfly. Medusa is primarily a farming hero. She may kind of sound tanky with the Mana Shields and the Stone Gaze etc, but she's really not that great. There have been stories from Dota 1 in pro games where people have managed to lose Divine Rapiers and then managed to farm up another one in only 7 minutes. Medusa is a farming machine. So for the majority of the game, that's what you're going to be doing. Farming as much as possible, if someone tries to gank you, either slap on your mana shield to try and get out, or possibly use a stone gaze. It's a pretty low cooldown and at level 3 it's got 0 mana. So unless you're going to be initiating really quickly after that, like within a minute, it's just a good idea to burn it. Medusa should ideally be played in the mid lane. You should be spamming your Mystic Snake as soon as it's upgraded to level 3, and this will really help out your farm in general. The return mana that you get from Mystic Snake should basically account for the spam that you're going to be doing, and then as soon as you get your Perseverance, you're going to be having no mana problems whatsoever. Moving into the mid game, as I said before, just stay farming. Don't try and gank, it's not going to work out very well. Stone Gaze may seem like a good initiation ability, but it's really not, especially in the mid game. You should really just be using it as an escape mechanic at this point. 
If you have to engage in team fights, you can burn your stone gaze at that point, but really only when it's a team situation. Again, escape mechanic, not initiation. Also, try not to keep your split shot on when in team fights. Although this may seem like a good idea, it's better to have that extra 20% damage onto one hero than 80 over everyone. This may seem counterintuitive, but don't you think it's a better idea to have one hero die than five get away with low health? Having said that, if you've managed to get your butterfly at this point, just carry on. That split shot's going to do wonders for you. Please remember that Dota is a very situational game. Things can change on a game by game basis. Although this guide will give you a good foundation, please feel free to deviate and experiment on your own. After all, finding things out on your own is half the fun of Dota. Thanks very much for watching this guide. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe, like and favourite down below, and comment on anything you think I should change, or perhaps it might be of use to anyone else watching this guide. I'm an evil snowman, and I'll see you in the next video.